little burning Paris and a squeaky chair. I uh, got an email last night saying that my uh, payment was not approved for my Oculus Quest 2, which was like super disappointing. Because <laughs> uh, when I went to like, you know, pay with the right account this time instead of the wrong account this time. Um, Oh my god, are we gonna die of wave one? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't 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 even kid about that. It's not it's not okay. <clears throat> um I don't have my mute key right now. Uh anyway, so uh when I went to pay with the right account, it was quoting me for a uh, November seventeenth delivery, whereas previously it was quoted in November thirteenth. So it was gonna be coming on Friday and then they quoted me for uh, the 17th, which would have been like Tuesday or something like that, the uh, the following week, which was a problem, um, because I was really excited about getting my headset, and it coming like four days later is uh, not really something that I was excited about, right? So I didn't get like any kind of um, there's no you know overage charge or anything like that on it. Uh, I just didn't get approved for the payment. Um, because I didn't have the money in that account. Anyway, so I, uh, I went to try and like repay it again, and I'm like, you know what? Uh, heck it, I'm gonna go see if it's available at like some, you know, consumer electronics store near me. Instead, like check their website, see if it says that they're in store. Nowhere had it in store. Best Buy had the 256 gig version in store near me, but that's like 150 bucks more Canadian, and I'm like, do I really wanna? spend that much money for a little bit of a better product that's not really gonna affect me much anyway um, and like a few days of time saver mm, not really that's that's a big purchase that that I don't think is is worth it personally um, you know at that point it's kind of like you know get a better VR headset <laughs> right like like the, the benefit of it is that it's affordable and that kind of pushes it outside the affordable range for me um, even though it would be a nice convenience to have it you know I'd have it now if I were to have gone there because uh, Best Buy actually had it in store um, Best Buy was the only place that had it in store um, near me so I could have gone and, and picked it up like today if I wanted to right um, however however I, I didn't think it was worth it so uh, but when I was there when I was checking out that they had it in stock I, uh, I found that Best Buy actually had a November 12th estimated delivery time for the Oculus Quest 2 so they must have one like in a, fa in, a in a warehouse in Canada somewhere rather than uh, Oculus having to ship it up from uh, California or wherever they're at You're a little bloody. San Francisco or some I don't know wherever the heck Facebook's be like reality lab thing is I don't know dude where do they keep their warehouses at um, but it would have been probably coming from America rather than Canada um, so it just kind of adds a little bit to the delay and uh, by uh, buying it from Best Buy I guess they had some in Canada somewhere probably some over in uh, Vancouver um, warehouse is my guess so it was a little bit quicker, and on top of that, I got to save 10 bucks in, like, just taxes. <laughs> Literally. Literally saved $10 in taxes. Um, so I'm not quite sure how exactly that worked, but, um, yep, 10 bucks. So I was like, you know what? As much as I hate Best Buy, and I really don't want to support them, and I hate them, and they're dumb, and they're stupid, um... Ten bucks is ten bucks. <laughs> you know? If I can say if it's the cheapest uh, option that I've got available to me, and they were, and it gets here quicker, and it is going to get here quicker, then you know what? It, whatever, I'll suck up my pride and I'll buy uh, my Oculus Quest from Best Buy, you know? Now, you know what's going to happen, right? You know what's going to happen is uh, I'm gonna end up getting like uh, an email in a couple of days being like hey so just some delivery problems it's gonna be here like November you know 30th or you know December 2nd or something like that I'm gonna be like yep I, uh, I should have expected that from Best Buy but you know what it hasn't happened yet and I'll, I'll, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt 
like I said when I was ranting about Best Buy before, it's it's really the the store that I went to, the the specific location rather than the Best Buy as a whole, probably. But even then, I, I don't really like it. But you know, for now, they're they're still giving me a November twelfth estimated delivery date, which is going to be Thursday. Hopefully, it gets here sooner. Um, I'm I'm honestly expecting it to. Uh, as somebody who has worked in uh, like consumer electronics retail, it's probably not going to get here on November twelfth. It will probably be here sooner or later. <laughs> Um, they, you, you never give a, an accurate estimation, right? You always um, estimate it a little bit longer. You know, you kind of expect a couple of things to go wrong. Um, and then you're like, oh, well, you know what? It got here like, kind of sooner or whatever, right? And, uh, yeah. It'll, uh, it'll end up getting here when it gets here, which is cool. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully sooner than the 12th is is what I'm just really really hoping for now my other option is I could just go buy a <laughs> this is kind of a I don't know I don't I don't know what the refund policy is <laughs> I uh, a, a part of me is kind of like hmm you know what we could do uh, we could just go to Best Buy get the 256 gig version and then when my 60 gig version comes just uh, take the 256 gig version back and refund it get all my money back and then I can just kind of because it's all you know DRM and stuff anyway right it doesn't matter that I keep that specific headset for the for the like property on it you know like I could just re-download it links the account right as bad as all the DRM is it, it does come with a couple of benefits at least um, so I'm, I'm kind of like you know I don't know what the refund policy is but uh, there's there's a part of me that wants to just go buy the 256 gig version use it for it's probably like two week return right like if you don't like it return it but I'm not sure cuz uh, COVID probably would mess up stuff like that cuz that's like a sanitary thing too right it, it's like right on your face and you're like sweating on it and stuff right you don't wanna you don't wanna get a used oculus right but I mean I don't know maybe maybe Maybe, like, by law they have to, or, or maybe they didn't really care, and they're just like, whatever, it's better to take the loss. I don't know, I might, I might, I might check into it. It's a stupid idea, though, right? It's a stupid idea. But, um... It could, it could, it could be something I do. I might, I might look into it, actually. It's tempting, it's tempting. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of convincing myself to do it more and more as I talk here. But it, I, uh, I I thought about it. I thought I thought about it very briefly as kind of like a funny joke, haha. You know, like hmm, what if I just went and bought it and then refunded it? Now I'm like, but wait, a, what what if I what if I actually went and did that though? What if what if I actually just went and bought one and then just refunded it when I'm done? I don't know. I am kind of tempting myself to do it. I have the money for it, you know. Not 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 concerned about that at all. Um, so it's it's kind of tempting. <laughs> it is. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna approach you. Explode me. Explode me, dude. Try it. But uh, yeah, it was a little bit. It was like uh, last night. It was it, it was a, it was a roller coaster of emotions, you know. Because my uh, my the email came in like, hey, uh, we couldn't actually take your payment, and I'm like, oh god, no. I just wanna, I just want my my quest. I just want to play Beat Saber, man. Why does that have to be so complicated? And then uh, I ended up uh, finding the Best Buy thing, and it's like all good. And I'm like, okay, so this was just a like blessing in disguise, really, but. Definitely a panic moment when it first came up because I was like, "Oh crap!" Because now I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get my VR for later. It was oh, I like I, I felt so crushed because I've been so hyped. I don't know if you noticed, I've been so hyped about getting my VR finally next week. And uh, you know, I, I expect shipping delays and stuff like that, but to have just been like I messed up and uh, now it's gonna get delayed by four days because I just paid with the wrong account <laughs> like ah 
that would have that would have sucked. It would have just been. It would have. I would have been. I would have been so sad. <laughs> I was sad. I was so sad. I was. We got the new seasonal update coming up soon, in a uh, new map as well in uh, KF2 soon. TM. It's my understanding anyway. It might be here now, and I just haven't updated. I don't know. I'll check that before the next video. Um, but I, th I think it's just in beta right now. You know what? Heck it, dude. Let's check together, okay? Uh, killing floor, killing floor, killing floor. Uh, yeah, it's just a beta right now. We're thrilled to have you all join us in the current beta on PC. Now we'd love to hear your thoughts after spending a few hours in the beta. Here's the survey to do just that. That was November 5th. It's the 7th now. Um, I, I, yeah, it, it looks, it, it looks still very much so, uh, uh, not released yet. But we got new stuff coming up soon. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It is kind of disappointing that it's all HRG and then DLC weapons for the like actually cool stuff. It would be nice if we got like some cool weapons from time to time. You know, it's it's hard to be the positive person in the in the situation when they don't really give an awful lot to be positive about. But you know, I think ultimately I I'm I've gotten more than my money's worth out of the game. I don't really get to complain. I think I think that uh, if you're if you're paying customer, right? Then you get uh, you get to you get to be entitled to to your uh, your opinion. You get to, to be entitled to expecting some kind of uh, 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 you know at least uh, re reasonable uh, amount of like return from your investment and in whatever it is that you purchased as a customer that you have an entitled opinion about. I believe that you're entitled to to some degree of uh, expectance from. Uh, from the product. Now, I also, you know, you, you can kind of take it the other way. I, I bought Killing Floor 2 for like 20 bucks, I think. 20, 30 bucks, something in that general range, right? Um, I've played, how many hours do I have in Killing Floor 2? I have 580 hours. Is that, do I, do I think that's a reasonable return from, from my purchase? Like, yeah. So as as much as like yeah, it would be dope game. if Tripwire continued to add cool stuff to the game. I'm not really spending more money on the game so much. You know, I do buy all the DLCs, but you know, outside of that, like, like what I'm asking for is more free stuff, right? And like, I'm not really paying for that. I've already gotten more than my fair share. And you know, anybody who buys the game today, like, it's not like they've taken stuff out of the game, you know. Like the stuff is still here. You can still play for 580 hours and and uh, have a good time with it, right? So I, I think that Killing Floor 2 more than gives uh, it's uh, I, I think the Killing Floor 2 more than uh, gives you a reasonable amount of uh, of time from from what you're you're spending on it. I think I think you can get. There's a lot of replayability here, is, is what I'm saying. You know, it's it's not. Uh, you, you can you can play for a few hundred hours easily with with what is in the game right now, like easily, and you won't even be done, right? Um, and I think that a lot of people kind of forget that when they're being super negative about updates in KF2. And uh, honestly, what I would like to see more is if they just let it go. <laughs> I, I think that a lot of the updates that they're bringing now, or at least, you know, stop, I don't know, it kind of feels like they're milking it to a certain extent. It's a lot of DLC weapons that are, I mean, the Glock, I use it like every match, basically. Um, love the Glock, it's amazing. Um, but like most of the DLC weapons aren't really worth buying, in my opinion. The minigun, maybe. Um, but like, eh. You know, the Glock is really the only one where I feel like it kind of makes a, an actual notable difference to your playstyle as a as a gunslinger or you know as any perk, right? Um, 
but it's just it's just I, I just you know I don't want more HRG weapons I feel I feel like I don't like the HRG weapons is really what it boils down to I like some of them it's just we have too many honestly I think the game would be better if they just continued adding more community maps into the game and uh, the DLC guns and then uh, on occasion just made the DLC guns free instead of paid you know so like you know two months of free guns and then a month of DLC guns right kind of thing like that right um which I, th I think would be better and then just give up on the HRG stuff we don't need it it's not it's not important you know maybe sometimes if you have like a, a really cool idea for it but like it, ju it just feels like they're kind of like picking a gun and being like all right uh, we gotta make our HRG weapon we gotta reach the HRG quota <laughs> and it's just I, I feel like the game would be better if they didn't keep adding low quality stuff to it I feel like the game is good I don't, I don't think that it needs to be improved. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, I wish we could get better updates for it and, you know, this dead game and blah, 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 blah. I think the game is good. You know, I think the game is, is a very finished product. I don't think it needs anything added to it. It'd be cool if we got more maps and more guns and stuff, of course. But honestly, I, th I think the game would be better if they just added new maps and didn't add the HRG guns. And on occasion, added a DLC gun or maybe a, a cool new gun or something. But... I think that uh, largely the problem with KF2 isn't uh, that we're not getting enough stuff, it's that we're getting too much stuff. We're getting too much stuff and none of it is really cool, <laughs> you know? Like we don't, we don't often get something where people are like, oh this is, you know, for free, for free. Where people are like, oh this is, this is the new and greatest thing, you know, like that doesn't really happen. But again, as, as I, as I kind of said. Y'all, there's enough content in the game when you buy it, you know, like, you don't need more. I don't know. I like the game. I would highly recommend purchasing it if you haven't played it. I, it's definitely, you know, high on my recommendations list for, uh, for games to buy and play and invest your time into. Like, it's definitely up there for me. Um, and I want to be positive about the game, but I just... I, 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 I feel I, I, I think the game would be more enjoyable if they just left it as it is. It's not the right financial decision, right? Financially, they're better off continuing to add the HRG stuff and get something so people are talking about it and more money going into their pockets through DLC and stuff. Like Obviously, that's the, the better financial decision, but for the quality of the game, I think just leaving it. Just don't touch it anymore. Just leave it, and it, it's good enough. You know, you got you're gonna have your people with like a thousand, two thousand hours, whatever, being like, "Oh, it's dead game. There's nothing to do anymore. Can't even play it. I've done everything." Yeah, you did like a thousand, two thousand hours. You know, of of a game where all you do is shoot zombies. Okay, there, there's a limit to how long you can do that until you're kind of done. You know. I don't, I don't care how much content they're adding. You're never going to be satisfied with it because they're not going to be changing the base game. They're not going to be adding new bosses and new Zeds and stuff like that. You know, like, let's just be real here. That's not going to happen. Even if it did, that's not really going to be changing the the, the the thing. You know, you're going to have people complaining like, oh, I don't like these new Zeds and blah, blah, blah. blah. They don't fit. <laughs> it's just, you know, can't make everybody happy. Um, I think the game as it is is, is good enough. That's a very uh, controversial stance, I know. Um, but I think I think the game doesn't need updates. I think it just needs to be let go while they work on KF3 or something, you know? Get a fresh start. Anyway, I don't want to be negative about the game because uh, I love the game. And I'm going to be continuing to play the game forever. I just... It does kind of annoy me when I read the patch notes. And all I see are some HRG guns, and then uh, a map or something, you know. And it's like, yeah, the maps are kind of like whatever, cause like they're community made usually anyway, right? So it's it's usually stuff that you already were playing, or uh, that was fairly popular before, at least, you know. It's not like it's really adding anything to the game that people didn't have before. Um. And then uh, the guns, the HRG stuff anyway, is 
I mean, the HRG Kaboom Stick is fun. I mean, sometimes they're cool, right? But a lot of the times they just, it just feels cheap. It just feels cheap. Just wish they'd just let it go. Just let it go. I don't know the Let It Go song. Otherwise, I would have sung the tune. Never watched Frozen. Y'all watch Frozen? I know it took the world by, like, storm when it uh, first came out. It's like, let it go. Let it go. I don't know. I literally do not know how it goes. No idea. Maybe I should learn one day. Just for the YouTube videos, you know? So that when it, when it comes up in a YouTube video again, I'll, I'll know how to how to sing it. Yeah, I know. I know. I knew he fell down in my face. I'm out of there, dude. I'm just getting chased by Screaks. Scrakes on a plane, more like scrakes on a alley. I'm trying to think of a word that would be both alley and plane, but can't think of it. I think there is. I feel like I feel like there is a word that kind of either sounds like both alley and plane, or means something kind of in the middle of alley and plane, or something stupid like that. Can't I can't possibly think of what it is right now though. It's yeah, gone, dude. My mother apologized to our garbage can like 20 minutes ago, by the way. 24 minutes ago. That's what motivated me to come down here and read them. Like, I just can't be around these people who are talking to their garbage cans. We got a uh, new garbage can. It's some fancy thing. You wave in front of it, and then it opens. I'm like, yeah, it's just going to like be annoying more than anything else. I want to just stick my foot on it, you know? Your foot's there already anyway. It doesn't. You don't have to make it all fancy. It's just electrical e-waste and crap, so... Um, but, uh, we got that, that, uh, you know, new fancy thing where it, it goes, meh, it's like a really cheap motor and probably not even Mervo, probably just like a servo or something. I don't know. I don't know electrical stuff, but, uh, it's a really cheap piece of junk, right? Like, could have made it for like 20 bucks. <laughs> I'm not even, I don't even know like electrical and I could have made this thing for like 20 bucks. It's not, it's nothing, you know? Um, anyway, uh, they like it, and that's, that's what matters, because they're the people who are going to be using it mostly. Um, I just eat all of my garbage, personally. Uh, but anyway, so, you know, you wave it, and, like, it's going to be going off all the time as you walk past it, and that's what happened. It went off as my mother went past it. So she, like, looks at the garbage can, and then just is like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Did you just, in all seriousness... Completely, sincerely, 100%, like, genuine, just apologize to the garbage can. <laughs> and she did. She did apologize to it. Looked, looked it right in the eyes, you know, if it had eyes. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> like, really? This is going to be, this is going to be a new occurrence here, hey? <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.